Hello, Mac Warriors and tacticians of the future. Welcome back to Battle Deck and playing Hardball. We have, yeah, finished up the plan of Mansaraka. There are no more contracts here. Nothing else has shown up. No. Now we are going to travel the stars. <coughs> However, let's firstly check if something has changed. Anybody special? Nope. Store? Anything changed? Black market? No ammo. Weapon-wise, yeah, we don't need that. Impulse is not uninteresting. However, yeah, yeah, for two tons, nah. The heat reduction, it's not worth it. And we have enough of the of this here. What I would love it would be the LBX. Uh, and the, uh, more ex uh, importantly, the ultra auto cannon uh, ammunition. So well, and then, well, we we have only 11 million left, so we can actually, or we should not afford anything. Stalker 3F. Stalker 3F. What's that, by the way? Stalker 3F. Uh, is, uh, it's a heavy make or what? Huh? Now a stalker here, where is it? Oh no, it's 3F, okay, no, this is the one we have, alright. So I'd, uh, I'm, I think we should actually keep this one in our roster, just for the LRMs, if we want to shoot someone up, but I believe after looking at our Highlanders, at both of them, yeah, we tried them out. It's cool, but uh, they don't come with anything anything special. So there is not much point in uh, keeping them, actually, in comparison to the other mechs up here. So let's put them in storage. No, we are not scrapping anything. So here, store battle mech, yes, confirm. And then we are also storing this Highlander here. And that way we get all the double heat sinks. And that means we can do something here. Let's refit our Atlas. And increase our heat efficiency. We don't have too much space now. Nah. Takes forever again. So here, heat sink. One can go out of there. Equipment. One goes in. Um, well, and there was just one, right? Yeah, well. Otherwise, I would not change anything at this point, but this increases our heat efficiency slightly. Yeah. I mean, it's not ideal, so, but I want. I'm going to think about this a little bit more. Did we actually have another, a better um, cockpit mod? Yes, we do. So let's exchange this one here. But let's actually no. Let's not put anything new in there first. So let's save the time. This cost just ripping it out is a quick thing. Confirming. Now nah, come on, be quick about it, guys. Oh, there. No. Shouldn't be too hard. And now, uh, why does it take so long? It's not my computer. There are no bottlenecks on my computer. So here. Three injury resist, and then a double heat sink over here. 
Yeah, well, and this exchanger for tonnage. I mean, it was it was actually a good thing. Well, I'm not a big fan of the ER PPC though, or like any PPCs for that matter. Can we actually do something better with this? I mean, the idea had been to have a real long-range thing, a long-range ability with this. Now that we don't run any LRMs with them. But I also think like we have uh, our maximum jump um, ability and it's not a super slow mech. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I mean, our damage output 371 is also not super. That was one of the reasons why I wanted that one. PPC. It's fly five damage and minus one ton. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad, but the heat up is uh, significant, of course. So the point is, like, how much heat are we actually producing? Snub is 360. And there we do have way more damage, of course, 125. And this one, that's like basically nearly double um, for the same tonnage. But max range, of course, only 360. Yeah, but I mean, we can, we can get in range quickly enough. Huh? So I feel we could actually exchange this one for the snub. I like the snub anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the, the ER PPC out of there. Instead we take the snub. And then we do have quite some more damage output. Heat efficiency is significantly better. We still can't really do a full alpha strike though. But I also don't want to lose any heat. But now with the exchanger, like how much is that? 36 to 101. On a 13, yeah. I yeah, know actually the, the heat exchanger is a good investment in here. I'd like to have another uh, uh, an additional uh, heat sink though. Um, what to do? We could reduce the armor a little bit. And do we need all that ammo for the LB20X? Yes, we do. Because we only have 15 shots with it does bring in a lot of damage of course let me just check do we have other options the ultra auto cannon would be wonderful but we don't have the ammo for it we could put in one gauss rifle though after all oh no that's 15 yeah yeah no I think it's actually a good thing to have the LB20X. Um, so, well, let me think. No, I think we, we are just rolling like this. That's fine. 36 heat. No, we can actually, we can do one alpha strike, of course. Although, although no, we can't. Or can we actually? No, we can. Yeah, yeah. But we need, we'll need some uh, some experimentation with this one. But the firepower has increased drastically, although our flexibility has been reduced a little bit. But it's fine, I guess. And we still have some longer range with the L pulse laser, so I guess it's fine. Let's confirm this one. Building the Atlas like that. there yes well it's all the paperwork takes so long that's right. the point yeah. i'll get it in the schedule so the annihilator does have a heat sink as well so let's ref or let's actually the king crab 
doesn't have any. Yeah, and actually I feel that our king crab is like really optimized. The only thing would be that we find some better LBX. Otherwise it's like really good. Gyro is the three hit defense. That's good. Cockpit mod is also three injury resist. I feel it's it's running very nicely. 442 firepower. Yeah, and 30 to 86, that's also relatively decent. Uh, we could have put a few more arm mods into the Atlas, by the way. Oh well, so the Annihilator, let's put a double heatsink in there. Let's see if we actually have the space. But we had the space to put one in in the first place, so... Oh, the paperwork takes so long. We don't even have time to look at the mech. There we are. So, yeah, it's fine then. Out of you. Off you go. Ah, we only have the heat, uh, the, the plus two defense, yeah. Let's, let's build, where's the three hit defense? There we have three of them, beautiful. Three hit defense goes in. And yeah, this TTS, I mean, I feel it's actually a really good thing on such a mech here. And that also re reduces the waste of ammo as well. It is certainly a slow mech though. And yeah, we only have one jump jet, yeah. So, but let's have the heat sink. Heat efficiency, yeah. One double heat sink like there. It'll be five X. Did we get something better? Don't think so, huh? Oh, we do actually. We have one. That's the beauty right now. Yeah, excellent. So we, we save half a ton. We are at maximum. Well, well, still, let's do that. That'll be five eggs. Um, and we, well, we can actually increase the, the last little bit of armor. Or do we have something else that we could put in there? Or we reduce armor a little bit and put an M laser in here. Or even a short range weapon, support laser. That would not be so bad. Or an ultra auto cannon, that would be beautiful. But still no ammo. Okay. LBX. No, okay. No, but it's fine. So then we increase our armor. Then we've got 0.25 tons left. Uh, it's not. Actually, that's not worth it. So let's let's put one laser in there. 36. We have an ER laser, right? Or do we? No, we don't. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, well, then we are probably never shooting it anyway. But if we are desperate, melee is 135. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a waste. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, yeah, this one had the ballistic missile system, uh, the, the, the BSC system, the integrated ballistic siege compensators. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we have the all the ACs in here. Uh, or la rather ballistic weapons. Um, yeah, well, no, I th actually, I think it's fine. I think we, we, are, we should not uh, use the laser. But we could actually lose a little bit. Um, of armor. Maybe for an M laser. Just for short range. Is that an idea? Because it feels that it's better that we use all tonnage instead of uh, wasting 
even a quarter ton. Yeah. But this ERM laser. We have two of them. Yeah, L laser was four tons. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, no, it's not worth it. We're, we're just... Uh, we're keeping the quarter ton and then we'll see if we can uh, upgrade something uh, once we, we get a better uh, weapon there. AC-10, by the way. Yeah, no, I, I really prefer the higher damage output. That's way better, in my opinion. That is way better. Okay. And yeah. Okay, we are running like this. We increase the efficiency anyway and our defensive ability. So that's that's a significant upgrade at this point, I think. So that is a significant upgrade. Good. So paperwork has to be done. That takes a while. Let me oh. take a sip of a refreshing well, mineral done. water. Our bull shark, by the way. It has the ER lasers. All double heat sinks. Oh yeah, well, I think he smacks out pretty nicely. I think we don't need to change anything. We, we, oh, well, let's, let's have a look into him. The ultra auto cannon. Because we have other ultra auto cannons. Uh, and he has the he has the ammunition for it. That's the good news. Come on, so there. That's minus two. Ah, yeah, okay. Ah, yeah, well, I think we only have one similar one, right? Yeah. Okay. That's and the other one's even worse. Okay. Also, we don't have the ultra auto cannon ten ammo. That's the point. Ah, but we can put a, a better gyro in here. Oh, when did that happen? So, there, there you go. And yeah, well, we are not running the maximum armor, but it's fine. Ultra auto cannon. Oh, well, wait a second, wait a second. There are ultra auto cannon five. We have two of them. Wait a second. This here, why do we have that? There. And we've got 30 shots. I know. What? AC5? What? Am I stupid? Are we using the. Oh god, guys, I'm stupid. What is what is happening? The Ultra Auto Cannon 10 uses AC10 ammo, I guess. Why did never why did no one say anything? <laughs> what? Why did no one say anything about this? We were sh we have been we have been shooting this one all the time with this one. I thought it is special ammunition. Oh, come on. Well. Well, I mean, we just gained one ton. Um, and well, I think our heat efficiency is pretty good anyway. Okay, well, now we can actually build the other mechs like completely different. Like here with this baby. The Ultra Auto Cannon 10. Yeah, well. Why did no one say anything? But well, okay, I mean, I guess you waited uh, for me, for my brain to start working. So, well, let's increase our armor a little bit. Feel safer with more armor. Maybe even to 160 on the legs. 70, or oh. 65 on the side torso then, well. Yeah, that's that's a nice upgrade actually. Um, 
so okay. Confirming then. Ultra Auto Cannon LB10X. 10X plus LB. And we've got the regular LB5X. Okay, yeah. Okay then. Confirming. Well, then we need to look at the annihilator again, of course. Now that was that was not very smart, of my father's son. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. Here we've got the LB10X. Yeah, but I like that actually. AC20. Yeah, I think we are not changing anything there. You. Race in 2930, McCarran's armored cavalry, the Big Mac, is one of the largest and most successful, successful mercenary units in history. Repair all. So we've got double heat sinks already in here, the heat bank. Jump jets, plus three. Okay, yeah, it's as good as it gets, actually. Black mod, we don't have any more space for anything anyway. Check, check, check. Armor mods are in. So this is like a totally pimped Marauder. Jump jets. Four of them. Yeah. I mean, uh, M laser wise, we could maybe exchange an M laser for a different M laser. If we have it. But I also like the L laser. I mean, uh, instead of a snub, for example, we, like for the other snub. Yeah, but the point is like minus uh, the, the ton difference, tonnage difference, right? The impulse, that's 40. Oh, ah, yeah, it uh, costs two tons now. Actually, yeah, I, I really feel our, uh, our marauders are really optimized, like for what I like. So, the ERM laser. Well, we could put this one in though. Actually. Heat 20 though. Heat 12. But it's, I mean, it's as good as it gets and this is our laser. So I guess, I guess actually we could do that. The ER and the ERL laser, by the way, only weights four. Tons. We have damage 50 with this one, and this one has also damage 50. Uh, just a second. What? 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 The regular air laser has 40 damage. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We had this one on the other. On the other one. Okay. Yeah. Air laser double plus. So I think. Ah, uh, no, well, I wanted to have this one here with the accuracy. That was the point, right? So we the, we are the headhunter here, of course. But we can put out this one. And increase our damage output and the range, 360. And this one is only 270. Yeah. I think that would be nice because often times we are not really in range and the, yeah I think that's not so bad actually could even increase this one here but then the heat is of course a bit more of a problem um, but if we were to take this one out and put the ERL laser in, we, we even save one ton that we could. Yeah, yeah, well, but I, I really like the accuracy here, that's the point. So the point is to shoot people in the head, so at as long range as possible 450. So I think this will be nice for another mech. Yeah, this will be very nice for a, a different mech. And here, yeah, 35, and instead we have more range and 10 points more for 8 points more heat. I think that's a good deal. So, yeah. 
we, we could put out the leg mod of course and indeed exchange the L laser I mean we, maybe we should actually try that let's do that let's see how how he performs if we still shoot the uh, the head and then having more heat efficiency would be a good thing here I think the double heat sink here we've got four of them it's beautiful so like that yeah I think we could actually try that and this increases our fire power significantly as well and now we have 54 and 84 I think that's pretty good so let's roll let's roll with this like this our mods yeah things are a little bit messed up here now but let's put it like this so a bit more order And I'd like this one like this. So, L pulse, ERL laser. Pulse also has 450 meters, so let's go like this. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to look into the uh, uh, the king crab as well. So, all the paperwork right. takes time. By the way, how many how many days do we need to get over there? 16 days, okay. Make bay. Well, we should not. Let's look at our task because it's 16 days. Let's, uh, let's have the atlas first. The annihilator the bull shark and then the marauder that's in 10 days yeah and then we need to repair our other marauder of course so let's have a look into this one and we want our mix to be ready for battle of course the lyran commonwealth led by house steiner began as a merger so repairing everything. Yeah, and we've got the command mod. Um, this is maxed out. Yeah, okay. Now here actually, there's not so much potential. We could put some melee in there though. So we do have the arm mod. It takes one day. Does it? Oh, it increases the repair time. Okay. Even this one. Yeah, it's also two days. Now then. Let's firstly repair him. Jump jets is all fine. We don't have any more tonnage. M lasers. Yeah, and well, our heat efficiency is 30, 53, so that's fine. I think, I think we can leave this one here, just like that. M lasers. No good M pulse laser. ER lasers. I would like to have a snap, but it's not worth it. Because we could exchange all M lasers for one snap. But obviously that's not such a good choice. So I think we are fine here. So let's repair him. And then <clears throat> we'll be on our way. All the paperwork oh. takes so much I'll let you time. Know when that's done. And yeah, you go up here as well. Like that. That's 11 days, alright. Yeah, I think that's fine. So, okay then. <clears throat> Let's. Uh, check out our Mac Warriors first before we fly off. Adrenaline. Oh yeah, you get something. So, <clears throat> what did we want to make with you? You were supposed to be a tactician, right? Or you are already a tactician, I mean. 
So, hier Ariamaki. Ariamaki, can you some better fire? Yeah. Let's put you on gunnery 8. Confirm. Buckshot. Can get tactics. Indirect fire penalty, oh, it's fine. That makes us more flexible. <clears throat> or what did we want to like tactics on it eight that Waiting was for orders. Ah yeah, the minimum range. Yes, okay. Commander. Yeah. Let's give her tactics. Training Let's confirmed. push everything to eight first. Now that she has the, the guts. Then we have Oh glitch. Good was, to go. In good in high spirits. So um yeah well and whisper oh doesn't even have enough <clears throat> well but she looks very confident right now so standing yeah. by so i think we are making him we don't have so many guys who can actually do the breaching shot and yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So let's make him. But do we actually have Decker? Is also. Standing uh, by. Theoretically the same build. Ready for orders. Like have him. The master tactician with a multi target. <clears throat> do we have that? Did we have that? Actually, not really. No. Yeah, so let's have that. And we can have, uh, then we ha can have Decker with multi shot or something. So. There you go. Mech Warrior training. He's also a better shot. There. And now we are going to be on our way. Navigation. Hello, Commander. Good Star to see map. You. Yeah, we need to fly all around there, huh? So, such a pity that we can't really uh, make a little stop on these. Oh, we already visited that one. Okay. What was that again? Primitive civilization. Yeah, so it's not an interesting planet anyway. <coughs> Chemicals, modern population, periphery level civilization, Terran world. Yeah. So here, flashpoint expires in 28 days. Consecutive deployments, yes. Engagement length so short for the Free Worlds League. And no restrictions. Travel there. Command. Hostile mercs. There you go. So, work on the mechs is underway. <clears throat> Alliance offer the Capellan Confederation. Your service on our behalf has been exemplary, Commander. My government wishes me to convey their gratitude. Perhaps we should formalize the bonds between us with an alliance. <clears throat> Same thing from the Lyrans. Uh, you are making an invaluable contribution to the advancement of Lyran interests in this region. Well, thank you so much. Um, yeah. <clears throat> we, we will think about that. So. We are going to think about that. <clears throat> For a second or so. We are not aligning with anybody. Uh, because in my opinion it's not worth it. Because we are just uh, reducing the, the number of contracts we can make. But please prove me wrong and do tell what your experience is. Uh, but I feel it's just better. We are, uh, you know, a semi-neutral mercenary company. We are we are working for everybody for money. That's the thing. Oh, that looks funny. With all these little pots there. So marauders are good. Okay, let's... Uh, ah. 
I wanted to review the Annihilator. Come on. Oh, we are there. Okay, well, how many days? We don't need the Banshee right now. So we do have four days to travel, all right. Two days for the Banshee. Let's go into the Mech Bay. And uh, the LB-20 eggs. Okay, we only had, had space for the LB-20, so but let's have a look here at the Annihilator. Oh, yeah, he's got the Ultra Auto Cannon anyway. Hey, what, what, what's going on on my brain? In my brain, <clears throat> I have no idea. Or was it the LBX ammo that that? Uh, yeah, I think then it must have been the LBX ammo, the special one. That uh, for the Ultra Auto Cannon. Ultra Auto Cannon AC10. You like this one? <laughs> Why? No one said anything. But well, so here, let's take this one out. Ultra Auto Cannon 10. There you go. We even have the ammo in there, and now we, we gained, we just gained 2.2 uh, uh, tons. <laughs> That's so much better. That's so much better. What, what happened? Well, I mean, we could get some more ammo, by the way, but we have 16 shots with this baby. And now our damage is at 510. <laughs> and we are at maximum armor. Yeah, yeah, it's really fine. So, and well, we can put some additional heat sinking in here then. Actually, I don't think we need uh, the arm mods in here, but uh, heat sink. Thinking. We could also put the, the heat bank. Um, yeah, let's put firstly. Oh well, a jump jet. Another jump jet. That would be beautiful. Wait, three. Oh no, okay, two. I think that would actually be better because otherwise we are often so slow. Yeah, let's have the jump jet instead. Let's have the jump jet. But well, we could we could actually lose a little bit of armor and um, get another heat sink in there, right? Or the the heat bank instead. I think that would be good. I think that would be good. Thirty-six. Yeah, no, I think that would be good. Um. So let's see. To one hundred. We sh we actually we should not go into melee anyway. Not so much at least. So one hundred fifty. Three hundred. That's 285 for the ton of the heat sink. Like there. And then we've got 42. Yeah, I think uh, I think actually the heat sinking is uh, is actually a little bit better than the than the uh, heat bank. Yeah, although, I mean, it's like five turns for the heat. Oh, come on. No, no. Then we are put. now let's put the heat bank in here. Oh, it's so big. Um, well, then let's put you there. Oh, it takes longer. Three days. Four days. That takes too much time. No, then, no, then, no. Oh, no, that's a bit crappy now. Okay, so. Come on. 
no t no paperwork to be done. We forget about everything, and then we start thinking again. There, so so the AC10 goes out of here. So I'm not sure if this is actually saving some time, I, and also it's like a bit cheating, isn't it? But well, so let's put the ultra auto cannon in here. Like that. So we won the two tons. That's two days. And let me just actually let's let me let me check that. So now it's two days. And uh, if we just take out the AC ten. And I confirm. Let's see if it uh, takes l less time. Why does this take so long? Now, ah, come on. So, now AC10 out of there. Confirm. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. And by the way, yeah. Uh, well, if only they even had some loading screens or something. Uh, yeah, so there. Ultra Auto can 10 goes in here. No, it also takes two days. Yeah, well, whatever. So, and then we put the jump jet in there. Which will make us more mobile. And then we leave it at that, actually. Because then we can have this mech and the Banshee ready on the next planet, which is all in all better. And we're not even right. wasting any any time to repair things, right? So, right, there you go. Um, Annihilator, you go first. Yeah, so everything's fine. The Zeus will take more time though. But well, we'll see him another day then. And there we are, White Lies, Bellerophon. But let's firstly check out the planet. So this here. So we are here, Hiring Hall. No one special. So I wonder if, the, if we already collected all the special pilots. In the store, what do we have? Weapons. Nothing special. Ammo, AC, oh yeah, LB. <gasps> LB. We have one. Well, let's buy some. Oh, it's, oh. Well, they don't like us, the local government, but well. We have six of those. LB5, also five, LB20. Oh yeah, well, no, actually we don't really, we don't need it uh, desperately. So let's see, maybe if we do some jobs for them. Oh. Yeah, well, they, they do have some stuff that we definitely want, cause it doesn't cost us any tonnage. And mech-wise, what do they have? An archer, assassin, commando, javelin, phoenix sword, rifleman, victor, 9b. We do need one victor, but it's the 9s that we need. We already have this 9b. Okay. This one. Okay, and then let's have a look at the contracts. Before we start with the flashpoint. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the internet, the, or the, you know, the internet uh, speed between the star systems is so slow these days. Easy picking, so well, it's all like one and a half to two and a half. Desert, Titan attack, the free world leaks, well, it's all for the free world, huh? 
and for them we have 89 points but also a little bit for these guys and nothing for the local government oh well so then let me buy the stuff before we forget it oh well most of the stuff might even go against the local government so that wouldn't be so bad so let's stock up on this here buy equipment available so we have like I want to have like five of everything. New equipment available. And maybe like the LB10. Let's have more of those. Like two equipment eight. available. And LB5 could also won't New hurt. New equipment yeah. available. The Argo doesn't travel slower. So, alright, that's that. And we are buying the arm mods. New equipment available. So there. This gyro is not interesting. So then. Here, yeah, flashpoint. Begin. White lies, high orbit Bellerophon. Commander Hotball, I was pleased uh, to see that you would accept that my summons. The job that I have for you today is more personal to me than most, and it comes as a relief to know that it will be passed into such capable hands. Oh, that's very polite of you. Tell us how we can help you, Force Commander Singh. Our frontier mercenary company, Arslan's Janissaries, has been targeting prominent families inside the Free Worlds League, including my own. Someone has hired them to bankrupt us, and they've been attacking our assets both inside and outside of Marik's space. Naturally, this cannot stand. A swift and decisive response is required. Got it. I take it you'd like us to eliminate the entire mercenary company? Uh, the mercenaries are nothing. Crush them and their client will simply hire another company to attack my assets. Make no mistake, the mech warriors that pulled the trigger will be punished, but our primary target is the villain who hired them. Oh, do you have any leads on this mystery client? By any chance? Only suspicions. Whoever arranged all of this possesses an encyclopedic knowledge of my family's holdings and of the assets of a dozen other prominent Marek families. This makes me believe that our target is a person of means, a high-ranking noble from a rival successor state, perhaps. But I can't prove anything, not without your help. Arslan's janissaries hail from this system. They conduct all of their business from a fortified headquarters on the planet's surface, and that's where we'll find the evidence we are after. Capture it and I'll bring in a forensics team to scour every safe vault and hard drive for intel leading to our ultimate target. Sounds good for us, Commander Singh. We'll take it from here. Good. All right. So there. And there we have it. Three skulls. One million. We get 315. Before we can eliminate the person responsible for attacking the family, we must identify him. His mercenary cat's paws. Arslan's janissaries have a base of operations at the first drop site. We will seize the base from them. So, however, looking at the time, my dear fellow mech warriors, I think, well, our our roster of mechs is actually doing well. Let's just have a short look into the Banshee, because it has been so long. But here, the Banshee, it is, ah oh yeah, and we, we build it as a brawler that jumps in and is super mobile. That was the idea, right? Max move 120, max sprint 200, ju max jump 150 meters. So this guy packs a punch, 165 melee, and we have all the S lasers and one MG on here as well. For the crit. So this will be nice, I think. This will be pretty nice punching. We've wa waited for this one a long time. Let me just look into him a little bit for one second. And then, I just hope the game doesn't crash right now. That would be awful. Like also in ways of real world time for me. Um, it did happen. It does happen with the newest... Oh yeah, no, we don't have any more... Yeah, no, any, no space. Oh yeah, well, 
could yeah the cockpit mod but it's 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 as good as it gets for this uh for this planet we don't have any more time right now to rip out anything of course i would feel better with the plus three injury resist mod but it's fine yeah it's really fine here durability we have the maximum armor except here 285 so that's actually pretty nice that will be fun this banshee that will be fun i think that will be a lot of fun s lasers there yeah well i are yeah we have even better support weapons right now i think but this is as good as it gets he's got the support weapons up there yeah that will be a nice brawler that will be fun all right i'm looking forward to the next mission thanks for watching guys and gals i hope you liked it that was more the management mech building stuff i think we've got a good good uh, stuff coming up uh, nice damage output increases with the ultra auto cannon um well let's not talk about the fact that i kind of uh, didn't realize that there was no special ammo I, I don't even know how the idea came up yeah maybe it was because we didn't have the lbx ammo or something but something in my brain told me okay well we can't use that stuff because uh, we don't have the ammo but well we actually we do it's just the regular it's also logical right that we don't need special ammo it's they just shoot more the ultra auto cannons yeah but well that is solved that's good news uh, and yeah we are continue next time with the flashpoint and yeah please don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you never ever miss an episode again and if you want to share any thoughts feelings tips and tricks on the game on the law or anything else with max or anything else that's on your mind please do so in the comment section you know you're always welcome see you next time bye bye